Good evening, our friends from all over the world. This is your brother Joe and sister Perla and sister Linda here at the ministry. And we are presenting this little extract from the preaching of brother Bishop T.D. Jakes. The name of the preaching is It's All About the Stones and it is based on the arrival of the tribes of Israel to Canaan and the episode where they go across the Jordan River. The video has a, an amount of 567,032 views with uh, more than 12,000 likes and it was delivered it was delivered on let us see you can see here but the introduction to the Video says God always starts things with someone who is a deliverer. Moses came down and changed lives, but what happens when those who are there for us don't come back? The mission does not end when the man is lost, because killing the man doesn't kill the mission. We are in a season of difficulty and treading uncharted waters. We must decide at this critical point, are we going to fight or turn back? We have to step down into it as Joshua did and meet Jesus halfway. It's time for us to take a stand as those did before us. We stand because black lives matter yesterday, today, tomorrow and always. So <clears throat> I am trying to see the, the date of the video, but it is not clear so far as I can see. Let us hear Bishop T.D. Jakes. Glory is heavy on your shoulders. Glory, oh, yo, I got to quit. Glory adds to your load. Hallelujah. But they carried it out. They're carrying stones in mud. They're carrying stones along with religious artifacts. They're carrying stones weighted down with the armor of their garment. But they carried it anyway because God said, Your children need to see your stone. Hallelujah. Even as I preach here today, my youngest son is standing here to my side. I want him to see my Asusha, I want him to see my stones. Know that your daddy is a fighter. Know that your daddy will, st ah, will step in a building and fight by myself. I want you to understand that a crowd does not define you. That if so, as you could see. The brother Jakes is actually preaching in front of a completely empty building. A completely empty building. What does this mean? It means that the church is far beyond the building. It is that the building is a place to, to gather. It's a place to to be in communion with others. But it is not the place that encloses the church. The church is far beyond the buildings. So this is a very important message for us to understand that despite the distances, despite the language, despite the race, despite the intellectual understanding, despite the economical or financial background, despite whatever you can consider important in your life that defines you and that makes you different and special in life. Despite all that, we are all together in the same quest. We are all following one single shepherd and his name is Jesus Christ. Let us hear a little more of this 
beautiful teaching that I am following here somewhere in these headquarters, somewhere in Latin America. God before you, he's more than the world against you. And when all hell is breaking loose, you just stand. Somebody holler, stand. This is something you can't get out of a book. It's got to be modeled in front of you. You got to see it in your life. You got to be able to point at it. You got to have enough sense to recognize it. And it, there ain't nothing but stones. There ain't even books. But they're teaching a class. Take these stones and pile them up where you live. <laughs> so that when your children... When your children pass by and say, what mean are these stones? You tell them, baby, it's all about the stones. It's not about the jewelry. It's not about the gold. It's not about the bank account. It's not about the silver. It's not about the money. It's not about the house. It's about the stones. If you got the stones, you can build a house. If you got the stones, you can get the gold. If you got the stones, you can get the silver. It's all about the It's all about the stones. It's the stones you got. It's the fight you got. It's the stand up you got. It's the force you got. It's the tenacity you got. It's the fight you got. It's a tribe you got. It's a Well, <clears throat> and this is more than enough. Seven minutes of recording. And I want to share this little message. Today is uh, Saturday, January the 22nd, and the year is 2022. It has, it has been a very harsh season for us, for all of us. Probably for some people, the season with the COVID has been milder, has been more teaching, are more insightful probably. But for, for some other, this season has been harsh. It has been a season of sudden change and terrible realization so to speak it doesn't matter we are about to enter into a, a new age a new time a new moment we don't know what is going to be in these next years probably but we have to keep the pace we have to keep the pace that we have um, developed in the previous years, in the previous two years. You have to keep the pace to of moving forward towards better pastures, towards better situations, towards better conditions. And probably after some time, we are going to have a moment of rest. But our purpose in this life is not the resting times, but these struggling times, this is what we can conclude from all these teachings and from the episode of COVID. Who knows what is going to happen with COVID? Who knows what is going to happen in the future? It doesn't matter. What matters is that we have God on our side and God, the Lord, is instructing us to go ahead, to march ahead, to struggle against all odds, to struggle against all strongholds and all castles and all barriers that are set in the middle of our ways. Thank you, you all, for this uh, for your attention to this uh, small extract of the of the preaching of of uh, Brother Jake's. And I hope we will see each other again. In the name of Jesus, be all of you. Be blessed. <laughs>